Question 1 asks us if the shadowing lemma tells us that noise added trajectories on chaotic attractors are shadowed by true trajectories. And this is true. This is precisely the spirit of the shadowing lemma. That is, if you're on a chaotic attractor and you're bumped by a small amount of noise, then you'll land on an area of the attractor that you would have gotten to anyway if you would have continued along that same trajectory for infinitely long. That is, that a noise added trajectory in a chaotic attractor is shadowed by a true trajectory. So a little bit of noise won't be a problem. However, question two really gets at the nuances of the shadowing lemma. It asks if the shadowing lemma tells us that a chaotic attractor is immune to any level of noise, i.e. that all noise added trajectories, regardless of the size of the noise, remain on the attractor. And this is false. If the noise is large enough, for example, you could bump the trajectory off of the attractor and into the basin of attraction of a different attractor. So you may actually reach a trajectory or an attractor that you would have normally reached even if the trajectory were infinitely long because the noise bumped you out of the basin of attraction. The final question asks if the shadowing lemma holds for all nonlinear systems, and this is false. The shadowing lemma really only holds for nonlinear chaotic dynamical systems.